or snowstorms. It's milk and bread that fly off the shelves at grocery stores. For the coronavirus pandemic, it's toilet paper and hand sanitizer. It's more than just stores selling out. It's people who are buying more than they can possibly need and hoarding these items. What is it about panic buying and how does it impact other people? This is what Blanca Cobb and I are tackling this morning. Blanca, what seems to be a driving force behind panic buying? One driving force behind panic buying is a lack of control. There's so much that is unknown about the coronavirus, how long it's going to stay, who is it going to impact, how long do you have to be quarantined, what do we do with the kids, there's, there's so many unknowns, what's it going to do with the, with the economy. So when people are uncertain, see, this is how the mind works. We always want to make meaning of what's going on in our lives. And once we can't make meaning of it, then we'll start pulling information and we'll put that puzzle together. It just might not be the right picture. Mm. So what about the people who aren't panicking but seem to buy anyway? A lot of times, the people who aren't panicking, when they're out at the grocery store or a different store, what they're doing is they're, they're realizing, okay, all this stuff is flying off the shelves. I can't find it. There's one more toilet paper. Let me just grab it. And so they feel this impulse, not because they're panicking. It's because what if the stores can't replenish? I need to make sure I have something for my family at home. That's what happens. Yeah, I mean, I think and I will be honest and admit mm -hmm. that's exactly what happened to my husband and I. Mm -hmm. We went to the store and there was nothing left and we were like, well, let's just get what we can while we're here. And I think that we all are falling to do that right mm -hmm. now. Um, yes. So maybe advice for myself and for everyone else out there. What can we do to control this panic buying? What happens behind the panic buying, there's a lot of emotion. And when you're emotional, there's a lot of irrationality. So during the moments when you're feeling calm, just you really have to think about, okay, what am I hearing? I'm hearing that the stores are going to have more. It might take a little bit, but there's enough food. There's going to be enough toilet paper. Enough water. Right, enough water. That's what's going to happen. But um, so you have to think about a we instead of a me. But then also stores are stepping in. Stores are saying there's an elderly hour to make sure that people who are elderly can get the products. That's what's happening in Australia now here at home. Yeah, it's important that that mm -hmm. does happen. Blanca, thank you so much. If you want to continue this conversation with her, find her on Facebook. That's Blanca Cobb, body language expert. Give her a like and write on her timeline. We'll be back with more of the Good Morning Show right after this quick break.